run a run a run a run a run a run up run up your engine. Now I've been using WD-40 for all kinds of things, but it's come to my attention. I've been using this stuff for 50 years. I've been using WD-40 on squeaking fan belts to keep all that fan belt from squeaking. I know a lot of people are going to whine about that. They'll say, oh Scotty, you shouldn't use it on squeaking fan belts or to be politically correct these days. WD-40 drive belt. Well heck, I've been using this stuff for 50 years. I never had a problem and over the years I've had a few customers and then a month or two later they brought it in and said oh Scotty my used car look I need a new automatic tensioner because you spray WD-40 all around a serpentine drive belt and I look at it so when I shined up they probably some poor person that's dumb and sleazy that's driving a car and the paint's all shot and I look at it and say hey you know automatic tensioner they do wear out eventually do it yourself bye Realize that it's got two main properties. One is it's a WD, and the other property is 40. They have these giant big blast, big blast, silo, big blow. So you got old, rusty crotch nuts you can't get off. You can spray them all over, let them soak overnight or a couple of days if you're naked. I know guys up north, they buy cases of this stuff. And then they spray all around the bottom of the crotch to keep all that salt water from corroding stuff in the winter. Let's say you got squeaky bush and you got rusty crotch and nuts you can't get off. Spray that too. So if you gotta jack it off later, it'll be a lot easier. Don't let the rubber rip while you're under there. Because decades ago I had a friend do that on his motorcycle. And he had a crotch and the rubber ripped. He lost it and let out the big blast while he was under there. And he had a little kid cost him a fortune. You don't want any kids. Hey, do not spray while you're under there. Stick to getting a little top. You don't want to use the rubber. But you do not want any kind of kid. And if you got an old fashioned car like mine that still has a key, you can stick the key in, lubricate it all inside. Shit. And of course you can do the same thing on your ignition key. Just spray the switch then. Now for fuck's sake. Oh, you know what this is all about? You know what this is all about?